hey 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 hello so guys if you're new here thank you for clicking on my video if you're not new here thank you for coming back i just wanted to come on and share a little bit of good news that i have but before i share my good news i want to know just as the title say what have you been doing to work towards your purpose we have Monday and Friday this week. Did you do anything different? Did you say something different? Did you kind of move around different? Um, just to work towards that vision that you keep talking about or that purpose that you keep saying you have or that vision or whatever. Just starting that company, starting that 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 book, whatever it is. Did you what did you do towards it? Procrastination is a video. Uh just in regard to pro uh, procrastination. I made that video a few days ago. Procrastination isn't a real, it's a real thing and it can really eat up at you. Because if you don't do nothing with yourself, what you want somebody else to do? It doesn't work like that. Get up and do something. Tell me why I was at work. Um, first, let me just share this. I already made a video and I said I really didn't want to talk too much about it until we get so, so close. But we signed a lease here to be here for another year. Um to basically next summer. I didn't want to, but I did. And the goal, the purpose, the vision is for us to have a home for our kids and us so I can be free of rent and just doing like a mortgage thing or whatever because the way rent is going, anybody can get a house. Like I'm so serious, I'm saying that in the sense of my rent is almost $4,000 and my house is like very, very small, okay? It's very, very small. But I've been working towards getting um, my credit straight. I've been like trying to put money. I have been putting money away, put money away, and um, trying to spend, trying to spend very limited of things that uh, that I desire or versus things that I know that I really need. So I'm still working on that. But um, I looked at my credit score, y'all, today at work. I have Chase. So if you have the Chase mobile app, you can keep up with something called the um, credit journey. I think that's the name of it. Y'all, why my points, my credit score go up, go up 41 points. When I tell you, I feel like all of my hard work is paying off. And I, I feel like I really wish I would have listened to my man. Like I really wish I would have listened to my husband with him telling me, doing the right thing and making the right choices and not being so loose minded with this money that's coming in your hand. Like you gotta be easy, take it easy. I didn't listen, but I want to now. I want to now, it's never too late. Like we can see a lot of revenue, but it can go so quickly. Cause if you're not on the same accord, then what's gonna happen? But I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for this new journey. I'm ready for this new chapter. I want to own my own home. I can see it. I know it. I know how I want it to be set up for the most part. I'm sorry. I know how. Oops, I don't know what that was. But I know how I want my home to be set up for the most part. And the things I want in my home. And that's what I'm saying about your purpose and your vision. If you can see this thing, let it, let it, let it be in your heart first. If you can see this, if you can vision that car for yourself, that business, that book, whatever, is yours. Stop seeing yourself in the light that the negative people see you in. Because whatever you did or whatever you said in your past, that's not you no more. And stop letting people judge you upon your past. Stop still talking to them people. Stop giving them an ear to communicate with when they just want to keep talking about your past and they know you changed but that's a whole different video but as long as you can see good for yourself now work towards it whether it's you getting a vision board laying everything out that you want to accomplish within months years days whatever it is just lay it out make it plain um, this is a real thing. 
Because if you sleep on it, your blessing is going to pass you by. I mean, God is awesome. And he's not a respecter of a person. Whatever he do for her, he can do it for me. Whatever he do for him, he can do it for him. Right? And I feel like I know that we have the favor of God resting on us. But it's like a closed mouth won't get fed. When I say that, I mean, get up and do something. We all, we all be caught up and be scared because a lot of people today is really scared of being self-sufficient because they scared of um, failure. They scared of um, who's gonna want this? Who's gonna pay little of me some attention? Who's gonna want something from me? You have to understand that's a mind that's in your mind. Let those enemies go, that's in your mind, it ain't real. It ain't real because it's just like, if I would have listened to my own thoughts before I started daycare, it, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked because I did, I, I used to say everything wrong about why it shouldn't be me, even though I've always had such a passion. I, I just believe that God birthed that thing in me. I have such a different type of passion for kids. Um, and I don't know if all the people, all the parents that I've ever had when I had their child in my care, I don't know if God just give them the unction like you are in the right place. Like this is, this is it right here. This is the lady you want your kids to be with. I don't know, but I almost feel that way. When I tell you my passion, my drive, uh, just is for children because they are so innocent. That has always been a passion for me, even as a young, a young person. And I'm seeing my vision. I have a business. Praise God for that. It would have never happened. It would have never happened without the Lord. It would have never, it would have never happened without my husband. He puts so much time, work, effort in to everything, like pouring into the business and doing so much. And I probably really never gave him credit, but he did so much behind closed doors for Little Sprouts kids. And I'm really thankful, you know, I'm really thankful that God has blessed him in a way that he has. But this video is for you. Did you hear me say my credit score went up like 41 points? Like I'm gonna put it here but I'm not gonna show you my actual score because I'm still working towards that because it's still not where I want it to be. But I'm telling you, cause in my eyes, it looked like a 700 right now, 700 plus. I'm just happy. I'm just happy that I got everything that I want. I got it all mapped out. First, I wanna get my credit right. Then I want to network with this realtor. Then I want to do this. Then I want to do that. Then I want to do this. I want to do that. God is amazing, y'all. He'll put people in your path to help you, even if you don't understand. He'll put people in your way to help you along the way. He is not going to give you a purpose, a dream, a vision, and just say, I gave it to you. and Just birth it. Just, just do it. Like, Go. Does it, it's not going to be like that. You're going to have a lot of people on your team and you're going to lose a whole lot of people. You are going to lose a whole lot of people. And it could be the same people that help you because the only purpose was, the only time in your life was, was just to help you. And God said their time is up. Because, you know, I kind of talked about that before too. Everybody's not meant to go to the end of the road with you. We can't be forcing people to go with us and they still want to stay in La La Land. You can't force people to come up and they they prefer just to beg. Like, you can't, you just can't. We can want the best for everybody. But what, what they want for themselves, like, 
what they want, like what they want for themselves. <laughs> I used to try to help everybody, but now I love giving a word, not out of my own flesh, but I just love to be led by the Holy Spirit. Like, cause that's one thing I don't play about. I don't play about, uh, thus said the Lord or, um, the Lord tell, told me to tell you this. No, I'm not. Uh, uh. Because when I hear the Lord speak, everything shuts down. Either he has me to share it with the person or to um, be quiet. But um, it's like every time I talk about a topic, I always find myself just getting way off. But it's going to work out. We all was you before. Even if it's you going on a simple walk, even if it's you going and getting a haircut, even if it's you taking a bath, putting on regular clothes, you have to do something because you are still here. So since you are still here, you still have a purpose. You still have a purpose. I want my hands to be full. I want them to be over. I want my hands to overflow. Overflow. Because I want to be able to bless. I want to be able to bless people. I love being a giver. I have no complaints about being a giver. I love being a giver. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful and thankful that I can give whenever I do give. Uh, yeah, but whatever you decide for yourself, just make sure you can see it. I'm not talking about what your husband or your wife or your friends or your coworkers can see in you. You have to make sure you see it um, because you got like all these people pouring into you, but what, what you getting out of that? You got to go one-on-one -on -one with the king and just ask him to uh, make all that denial and um, confusion and corruption that's in your mind to leave your mind and just be eradicated from your mind. Start filling your mind with the blessings of the Lord and the promises of the Lord. God is so good. God is so good. He is so good. He is so faithful. He is so faithful. Don't give up on God because he didn't give up on you. Because things is not moving the way you want them to move. That does not mean that God is not with you. That does not mean that God does not hear you. <laughs> Everything is going to happen. Our time is not God time. Our speed is not his speed. So just remember that. Remember that. And uh, like, I really love to empower people and having people to know their worth is really big for me. And um, I'm just like, I really wish I can like get into something like that. Um, just with helping people and um, pouring into people, you know, the ones who need, need to be poured into. But the Lord loves you. And he gave you that thing and only you can bring it about. Only you can bring it about because you are unique. But I must say, if you don't do that thing he told you to do, he will get somebody else to do it. <laughs> but if you would have did it, it would have been amazing. So just get up and do something. <sighs> Y'all, like I'm still just cheesing ear to ear because my score went up like within two to three weeks. I, It might happen for you people like that. Uh, but it really wasn't. My credit score was never checking for me like that. If anything, it just 
That's what happens when your mind is so clouded. When your mind is so clouded and you feel like you ain't gotta be paying people, right? I'm talking about like the creditors or whatever, whatever you have going on in your life. Your mind can be so clouded and then this happens. Now you put yourself in debt. And when you had all that money and when you get the money, you don't wanna do what you're supposed to do. God is good. Now I'm ready to do what I'm supposed to do because I want to work towards my vision. I want to work towards my dream because I can see big for me and my household. Because when one of us come up, of course we all come. That's just how we roll in here in this household and with my other children as well. But um, trust God. Don't trust yourself. Just trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. He's a winner and he's a keeper. And he's faithful. Yeah, because um, after, I don't know what it was, but I, I guess it was recently when I started saying I wanted to get a house, probably like two months ago. I think I got like a notepad and literally wrote down all of the people the, the 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 credit cards, all of the things that I was not paying, I just wrote all that down. Um, then I wrote down like how I wanted my house to be. I just feel like it's coming about. I feel like it's coming about. But don't allow nobody to come in and take your shine because they feel like they don't got no vision or purpose. We have to be really mindful to protect our peace with people. Everybody not meant to be in your life. Everybody not meant to cry on your shoulder. There's too many haters and they come in all forms. They come in all shapes. They come in all colors. It's too many, it's like an overflow. They like cicadas. Like the haters are really like the cicadas. Like it's crazy, but that's why God gave us, um, Provision and discernment. You're going to know who you can trust. You're going to know who you can be around. Because when a father speak and tell you to remove yourself, you ain't going to have no choice but to remove yourself. So you can be able to work on your business plan. Or so you can work on your family, whatever it is. Whatever it is. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to come on really and just share um, my credit score uh, just about it rising and it's not going to do nothing but continue to go up because I'm going to continue to do the right thing. Just want to com come on and share that and I hope that that can really encourage somebody because I I was not, I, it wasn't that long ago when I was thinking like my credit score is like, it's, it's in a situation where there is no hope because I don't know where to begin. So there is no hope, but it is hope because you know where to begin. All them people, you know, you're not paying who keep calling. You write them all down and you get with all of them and start paying auto pay. That's what I do. Anywho, um, my family's upstairs. I don't know what they're doing, but I guess I don't know if we're going to have movie day. It's Friday. I'm sleepy. I don't know what's going to happen. We may go to the beach tomorrow. It's going to be 97 outside tomorrow, y'all. I cannot wait to reveal um, my hair because like, I'm over the tracks. I'm over the wigs, I'm over everything, but I have to keep wearing them because I don't put plugs in my ears. I don't put ball spots in my hair from putting that glue in my hair. Um, I'm ready to let my hair breathe, just a whole new me. Like I'm ready. I was already wearing my hair probably like two years ago, but I wanna go back to doing that because I, this is nothing that I need. It's almost like a mask for some women. 
put my mask on, my makeup, my uh, my wig, my lashes. It, it, it can be a mask and it could be, uh, I don't know, a costume and you so afraid to, to uh, show your real self, but that's okay too. Everything takes time to work on. Everything takes time because I'm not out here showing my hair either. I'm just waiting. I'm where I'm, I'm, I'm all of my scap doing what I'm supposed to do so I can show it. So everything do take time. It takes time. It takes patience. All right, guys, thank you for listening to my 20 minutes of education. Okay. This was literally a tool to get your mind out of the gutter and put it into a place of having a different, a different thought. Like, man, she right. I can do this. I have been thinking about it. Just don't procrastinate. Don't take that word and procrastinate on it and say, I'll start it next week when I get some money. Mm -mm. You don't need no money to get your mind right. You don't need no money to write stuff down. What you gonna start doing? Okay, I'm done. That's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Until then, be kind to one another.